When the Saints faced Atlanta for the first time back in week 12, the Falcons ran all over the Saints defense, rushing for 228 yards, the most rushing yards allowed in a single game this season by the New Orleans defense. New Orleans is expecting the Falcons to want to do the same thing again Sunday since Atlanta's bread and butter is running the football. The Saints are preparing to be physical up front and being able to tackle well in open space, something they struggled to do the first time around. Well, I think it starts up front. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, if our D-line, you know, could do, you know, what they did this past week, just challenge those guys in the run game. And then, too, I think, uh, you know, we got to do a better job of tackling in space. You know, I think a lot of what they do offensively is, you know, yeah, it's a downhill run game, but, you know, they're trying to get their guys in space, right, you know, force, uh, you know, safeties and corners to, to make tackles. So, obviously, the D-line needs to play well, but I think all of us collectively, you know, I think we're all involved in, you know, trying to stop the run game. Defensively. Uh, I don't think we won the line of scrimmage the last time that we played this team. We're going to have to do a much better job up front of being able to control the line of scrimmage, both in the run game and the passing game. I think you know, I told our team before this last game that uh, the best teams that I've been a part of you know, are really led by both the offensive and the defensive fronts. And so for us to have success, you know, we're going to have to play well up front. Be prepared for Sunday's rivalry game to have a little extra juice because whoever wins could potentially win the NFC South. Reporting from the Saints practice facility for your go black and gold, I'm Sarah Paulczewski.